Hey everybody, I'm Jesse Munson with Munson Boats, and I'm here to show you today our latest fireboat. It's one of the most capable fireboats that we've built in recent years. It's a 40-footer for the City of Chesapeake Fire Department. It's powered with a pair of 550 horsepower diesel water jets and uh, it has a 3,000 gallon per minute fire pump. I'm excited to show you guys, come on board. The bow door is seven and a half feet wide and hydraulically operated with these cylinders. They're marinized stainless steel and aluminum. We've got heavy duty push knees up on the bow with a flip out anchor roller. There's an attachment for a bow door dive ladder that can be used both on the stern or the bow. And we've got these two monitors for firefighting up here. Tell us more about these monitors, Justin. Yeah, the port and starboard bow monitors are equipped with these TFT boom monitors, valve under monitor. Uh, the monitors have horizontal and vertical positioning. The starboard monitor is equipped with a master stream adjustable nozzle. The port monitor is equipped with this TFT stacker tip with inch and three inch discharge and stream shaper. The front deck is equipped with this four inch source connection. The source connection is designed to supply land-based firefighting operations. Bow deck on this boat is 15 feet long, which is plenty of room for carrying ATVs or other types of equipment with lots of room. One of the things I like about these walk-through wheelhouses is we put these large storage lockers on the front, which have shelves, lots of storage, easy to get to. Um, and fully watertight and lockable when closed. The bow door can be controlled from both the bow here locally with push button activation, as well as at the helm. The cabin of this boat is elevated about 30 inches above the main deck to provide excellent visibility. The door is extra wide to bring people in on a Stokes litter and put them on the EMS bench. Here at the helm, we've got all kinds of equipment going on. One of my favorite features on this boat is the Hamilton Jet AVX joystick controls. Tell us more about the joystick controls, Justin. Yeah, Jesse, so like you said, uh, 322 Hamilton water jets uh, with AVX controls. Uh, the AVX controls include uh, this electric uh, rheostat steering, which is super smooth, uh, one single turn, lock to lock. Uh, the dual bucket and RPM controls, instead of having old school separate controls, one being for the bucket, one being for the throttle control. And then also with this AVX system, you have the joystick piloting uh, for slow speed maneuvering around uh, marinas and uh, you know helping uh, rescue people in the water, uh, slow speed maneuvering. You have dy dynamic positioning or station hold and jet anchor. So here at the main helm, we have a ICOM VHF radio, a Motorola 800 megahertz met radio, a Wayland PA siren, Raymarine uh, radar plotter sounder display, remote battery switches for controlling all the batteries in the engine compartment, and an ElectroGuard system for corrosion protection, as well as a battery charger for when the boat's plugged into shore power. The interior of the cabin is outfitted like many of our fireboats. Rubber deck matting on the floor, overhead grab rails, and an EMS locker for transporting injured patients. Inside the EMS locker, we've got lots of storage for PFDs, as well as four SETCOM noise-canceling wireless headsets uh, for communicating with the crew. Behind the pilot station, we have a command and control station with a double captain seat, another Raymarine display, Motorola 800 hertz radio. The vessel also has sea clear heated film on all the windows to keep it from fogging up. A Wabatso AT55 forced air diesel cabin heater and a flagship Marine air conditioning system. Uh, to operate this fire pump, you want to open the main valve astern, come over to the fire pump battery switch, turn it to the on position. 
key up the Duramax fire pump panel. Once the class one TPG pump panel says it's clear to pump, start the pump. Once the pump is started, open the discharge valve and point it in a safe location. The boat is also outfitted with a FLIR night vision camera that can be displayed on any of the three Raymarine Axiom displays inside the cabin here. You can zoom in and out and pan and tilt with the touch screens. This boat is a 35 knot, 40 mile an hour top speed, 28,000 pound vessel, 30 inches of draft, but with the AVX Hamilton joystick, makes it very intuitive and easy to operate in tight quarters without a lot of skill. Show us more on this joystick, Justin. So right now I'm in dynamic positioning. I'm gonna leave the dynamic positioning function, go into joystick mode. With this joystick system, you don't have to be an experienced 25 year jet boat captain in order to drive this boat like you've been doing it your whole life. The boat will walk sideways. It'll spin 360 degrees with the turn of the joystick. When you release the joystick, it goes back to a static holding position. So today we're operating in the boat in about four knots of current and about 11 knots of wind. Um, when using the dynamic positioning or station hold button, uh, as soon as you press the button, uh, the system is going to take a GPS coordinate and it is going to take the boat right back to that exact position. So as you can see with a four knot current and an 11, mile, or 11 knot wind, uh, that might be uh, a little bit sudden to get the boat back into position. The vessel is outfitted with a full width swim step with an attachment for a dive ladder, entry points going up onto the stern on port and starboard sides, large air intake boxes with Delta T forced air ventilation system, one side pulling natural air in, the other side exhausting, and a large door on the back of the cabin for bringing equipment in and out. So back here in the stern, we also have additional storage lockers Inside this compartment, there's 200 feet of 5 8 tow line. The large engine hatches, which are flush and guttered, provide great access down into the engine compartment with hydraulic helpers to keep them open. These Volvo D8 550s are equipped with heat exchangers, stainless steel mufflers, and here you can see the fire pump intake as well as the Hamilton Jets with the overflow kit. A very popular feature on many Munson boats is a tow post. This tow post is four inch Schedule 80 pipe with a solid stainless steel one inch crucifix pin. Many of our boats are used for towing applications. And one of the things that I believe is necessary on any boat that's under tow is a way to cut the tow line in the event of an emergency so you don't capsize or put people in danger. So every Munson boat that has a tow post comes with a titanium line parting knife to slice that rope and keep you from getting in trouble. So right now the boat is completely unmanned, sitting next to the dock with no dock lines. It's sitting in about four to five knots of current and an outgoing tide. And as you push on the boat, the Hamilton Jet AVX will push it back into position. 
the precise accuracy of its positioning is truly incredible. Uh, it's amazing. And so, uh, you know, this boat will hold station in wind, current, and with 3,000 gallons a minute coming out of the monitor, a thwart ship, which would spin most boats around in a circle, really great stuff. The AVX Dynamic Positioning System is one of the best systems on the market. It's one of the only systems that will allow you to discharge water at 3,000 GPM and still keep the boat on station with minimal effort. We're gonna ramp this fire system up and discharge a thwart ship to demonstrate the ability to stay on station. Full power. In almost any other boat, the boat would be spinning around with the monitor shooting at full power directly athwart ship. But with the AVX system, it hasn't budged a single inch. It's holding low position via GPS and orientation directly due north with no variance whatsoever. So hey everybody, thank you very much for watching our video. As it says on the stern of this boat, everybody goes home. Munson Boats is known as a world leader in fire rescue boats. And if you're interested in more information, please reach out to us or check out our website at munsonboats.com. Take care, thank you.